Hello there fellow Wallado Warriors and welcome to Age of Empires 2, the Age of Kings alpha version. This is a very, very early release of Age of Empires 2. Well, in fact, it wasn't even a release. This is a copy that I believe was leaked from Microsoft uh, Ensemble Studios in 1997 or 8. This is a real, real early build of Age of Empires 2. And I'm going to be showing it off to you guys today. We're going to be having a look at the single player and exactly what was what the game was like before it was adapted into the game we all know and love, uh, The Age of Kings. So as you can see immediately, the start menu is rather different. We've still got the concept here of the uh, of the town, uh, but the artwork is definitely not quite fleshed out, and we have got quite a few different things uh, in different places on the menu. But we're going to go ahead and start a single player game. Now, Age of Empires 2 The Age of Kings was adapted sort of from Age of Empires 1. Uh, there's a lot of Age of Empires 1 sounds and units in the game, uh, which were later updated. So everything you see here is really kind of early, uh, early stuff from, from when the game was really in development. So we've got our single player game screen here and as you can see it is a little bit uh, different. We've got our settings on the right side which is actually on a completely different um completely different like screen now uh, here but I'm going to ignore that for now and we're going to choose well we've got a whopping nine civilizations to choose from uh, we'll go as the Byzantines and uh, because they're cool and we'll leave the computers as they are uh, I don't think we'll get to any real fighting but uh, let's start the game and see what it's all like. right so here we are uh, first of all I want to apologize for the ratio aspect ratio uh, I cannot get this to work in widescreen uh, but this is it this is <laughs> this is it um, um, it's a little bit different, let's be honest. It's the game that we know with a lot of stuff that we perhaps would not expect to see here. Uh, the TC is certainly um, interesting looking. Uh, obviously that would be later developed and well, let's have a scout around and uh, see what we can find and see if we can actually um, make some progress here. Now, one thing I've been able to find out so far is that you cannot collect sheep because when your scout bumps into the sheep, he doesn't actually uh, doesn't actually collect them. I mean, if we go to the sheep here, yeah, we're not gonna we're not gonna be able to take control of those. Uh, I guess that functionality wasn't added into the game yet, uh, but that's fine. The hockeys still work nicely, and you may notice that these buildings look very Age of Empires one-ish, and that's because well, I believe they are uh, either slightly adapted or exactly the same as. Uh, to be honest with you, I am very low or I'm very lacking in my knowledge of Age of Empires 1 so you'll have to excuse me when I'm drawing comparisons between the two here uh, but yeah I mean we can hunt deer just the same the, the deer death graphic is a little bit uh, more gruesome that's for sure uh, but it's definitely not not too bad uh, let's see where's the scout gone I need to control group him control groups actually working quite nicely which is lovely and yeah we'll try and get up to the next stage and show off some of the alpha units because the military units in this game are a lot different to the actual final release version uh, military units yeah they are almost unrecognizable if it was not for the name of the unit written down here. As you can see, the Scout Cavalry is uh, rather interesting. It's uh, I, I can't really work out what's going on here. It looks like he's a little bit transparent and you can see the terrain through him. But hey, uh, we shouldn't be too critical because of course all of these bugs were patched out uh, in the final release as we are very well aware. Um, so obviously without with the lack of sheep here, I'm going to be a little bit struggling to get food, which is, you know, not too much of a problem. Uh, I'm going to try and just take some berries and such and obviously take these deer as well. Uh, but it might take a little bit longer than we anticipate. That's the sound of the scout, by the way. When you double click him, it makes a different noise. Interesting. <laughs> uh, I think we can still hunt boar just the same. Um, I would I would do that, but I don't actually have um, enough food to get another villager yet, which is a little bit disappointing. Um, loom actually costs food at the moment, so I guess we won't be uh, researching the loom anytime soon either. Obviously, that's updated later on to only cost 50 gold, but there you go. Uh, so let's uh, get these villagers coming out then, and we'll get these guys to take some forage bushes. Uh, there's no real feedback when I'm right clicking on the bush, so I don't know if the gather point's actually being set or not. I guess we'll find out 
uh, when the next villager is created. So I'll go see if I can find my opponents. Uh, scores still working nicely. Uh, they are course up here on the right side uh i wonder if we've got advanced options no we have not uh the mini map is pretty pretty basic uh, at the moment obviously a lot of that functionality was added in a little bit later on um but really i wanted to show you this guys just so you could kind of get a little understanding for for where the age of empires 2 uh well where age of empires 2 the age of kings came from uh, at any rate obviously a lot of the buildings here are very updated in the, in the actual final release of the game and it's nice just to see what it was like when they first started development oh look there's a relic um where was it i literally just saw a relic where did it go um, maybe it's not visible through the fog of war let's have a look there it is there's a relic there and it's actually oh no okay the cursor changes i thought maybe my uh, my scout could pick it up uh, but yeah it seems like the relic is only visible uh, if it's in your line of sight uh, one thing I've noticed, though, is that the units move incredibly slowly in the alpha version. Uh, you will see, they are just so, so slow. Uh, I don't know if it's just me. I, maybe I can move the, increase the speed of the game. Mm, yeah, I put it on two times speed. I put it on fast speed. Uh, that should at least uh, get us moving a little bit faster for the time being. Hotkeys, though, are largely the same, which is very nice. And I wonder if we can actually build a farm. I'll, I'll find out in a second, I guess. Well, in fact, we should probably build a lumber camp first. We should do that. Ah, I can't jump to units by uh, by double-clicking their control group, which is a little bit of a shame. All right, lumber camp. We don't have enough wood for a lumber camp. Of course. There we go. Let's see if we can get some more villagers coming out. And I will probably jump cut the video about here and wait until I'm in the feudal age so I can show you some of the feudal age units. Uh, they look pretty, pretty interesting. Okay, so I'm just going up to the Feudal Age now. Uh, notice there's no actual Feudal Age progression bar at the top, but so there you go, we're on the way over. Uh, I've got some fishing ships out, look at this, this is the this is the dock, it looks ridiculous, but uh, it's it's kind of cool as well. Um, I don't know, I think if this dock had been developed, maybe I would have liked this one more. Uh, the fishing ships are, are tiny, and they are pretty interesting looking, and the villagers have a really cool shore fishing animation, they don't throw nets in in the alpha version they actually harpoon the shore fish which is awesome uh, also i've been building some other buildings we've got a mining camp over here which i forget aok okay, doesn't automatically task villagers uh, mining camp looks pretty much the same but the lumber camp looks rather different it's like a mining camp with obviously um well wood attached to it later on that of course does change and feudal uh, age we are we've got some farms set up around the tc uh, which is all well and good and well let's do horse collar and keep on going on all the icons are so basic uh, it's kind of amusing to see them uh, Interestingly enough, we can actually build a monastery at, in this age, which is interesting. It's also called the Middle Age. Um, so things kind of really changed, I guess, uh, with the direction of the game. So what we'll do is we'll take some gold. Wow, that built really quickly. And uh, make a monk here just to demonstrate what that looks like. And we'll also build a barracks and an archery range and a stable once, those, uh, once they go up. Uh, got loads and loads of... Well, food at the moment. I need to get some gold in though, as at the moment we do not have enough at all. Uh, let's research the double bit axe. I love these alpha um, alpha icons. They're fantastic. So this is a uh, version one of the monk. And the Wallalo taunt doesn't work, which is rather sad, actually. Uh, but I will show you some of the other taunts which have changed since the alpha version. Um, Let's see, 16? Attack them now! Yes, attack them now! <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, there we go, what's 11? There you go, 11 is no longer the uh, the laugh that you know. It's uh, a little bit of a, a, a weird one, actually. I don't even know what that Whoa. is. So here we go, um, we've got a militia. He is looking pretty fantastic. In fact, he's got a spear, uh, which he looks more like a skirmisher, if anything. And we've got a spearman, which is a phalanx when he walks and a spearman when he stands still, which is fantastic. Uh, archery range-wise, well, archer and skirmisher can be built from here, as we know. I've got a stable up here as well. And uh, let's see what these guys look like. These guys look so weird. 
to... It's just so unusual. We're just not used to this. Okay, uh, obviously we can build... Oh, a scout cavalry. We've seen that already, of course. Um, scout line of sight. Interesting technology. Increases your line of sight by three. Um, which is obviously... I don't know. I actually like that. I think that's a cool idea. Uh, so Archer here looking uh, pretty interesting. He's just arching away. Uh, should be able to kill that scout, no problem. I think. We'll see. Skirmisher throwing what looks like a rocket at the uh, at the, the scout there. But as soon as the militia and the spearmen come along, that guy's going to get absolutely destroyed. So there we go. There's some village alpha units. They definitely look interesting. And I'm glad they changed them, to be honest. Because at the moment, the skirmisher and the militia look identical. And they are really hard to tell apart as well. Uh, these guys all look really kind of dull in comparison to the units that we have now. Uh, so I'm going to continue and upgrade to the Castle Age in just a second, once we've got a little bit more gold. And uh, we will have a look at the castle, of course, and some of the stuff that we can get in the Castle Age as well. Right, so here we are in the Castle Age, and we've got plenty of upgrades to do and units to see. Uh, we've got knights, of course, camels, of course, and upgrades as well. Now, I've already upgraded the militia to the swordsman, which is the second tier, i.e. the man-at-arms. Uh, looks pretty interesting, but we're going to upgrade him to the two-handed swordsman now. So the long swordsman has been completely skipped out, or rather the man-at-arms has been skipped out. Uh, but wow, there's a knight, and... He moves incredibly quickly. Wow, he looks awesome. Uh, I actually really like the animation of the uh, like the fabric moving when he stops. That looks fantastic. Look at that. Looks a little. Uh... Oh, he's not doing it now. There we go. Maybe it's just his idle animation. Look at that. That looks brilliant. Uh, so there's our knight. We've got a uh, camel coming over now. <laughs> the camel. I don't know what it is. I think the camels in Age of Empires 2 look ridiculous anyway. But this guy just looks even more ridiculous. That looks so funny. Let's see what else we've got. Our two-handed swordsman's upgraded as well. And we may as well also add a cavalry archer and upgrade to crossbow while we're at it as well. Uh, also, let's get a castle. Um, I don't even know what to expect here, but can we even make a castle? Where's the castle option? Um, Palisade wall, gates, and watchtowers are the same, but I cannot build a castle for some reason. Maybe the castle is only available in the Imperial Age, which is kind of funny because we're actually apparently only in the Feudal Age right now, which is rather, rather unusual. So what we'll do is we'll get a university and a siege workshop. Um, the buildings are actually pretty much complete in this version, it seems. Uh, from the Feudal Age onwards, all the buildings are as we know them. But obviously, the foundations are uh, well, haven't been done just yet. So we'll go up to the next stage in just a minute. We need a little bit more gold. So let's uh, get a few more villagers to take some gold over here. Uh, it's really annoying. I, I forget that uh, the villagers won't automatically task to the nearest resource when they uh, when they when they build a building related to that resource so you know how if you build a, a mining camp the villagers will automatically uh, go and mine from the stone well in AOK they don't do that and they don't do that in the alpha version either which is not surprising really uh, so crossbowman then let's upgrade a crossbowman and see what he looks like we actually lost our our archer so we'll have to remake one anyway as well and we'll just get that done and in the meantime we'll save up a little bit of gold as well and we'll go up to the imperial age so hopefully we can build the castle i don't know in, if, uh, if they are available in the imperial age or not uh, there we go crossbowman let's see what he looks like i absolutely love these alpha units as much as i think they they would not work in the actual game i really like the way they look i think it's just i think i like it because it's different and uh, sometimes different is good. There's a crossbowman. Um, he looks very similar to the archer, actually. But he's... You can see he's holding a little crossbow there. Uh, sort of. You can sort of see that. Okay. Uh, let's get these fish and chips back to work. And now we can go up to the Imperial Age. Uh, I'll cut back when the Imperial Age research is done. Okay, so while we were upgrading to the Imperial Age, I thought I'd make some siege weaponry. Now, these are... Pretty ridiculous, let's be honest. I mean, the Magnell looks like it's made out of copper. Um, <laughs> it just looks so silly. But I actually really like the concept here for the Scorpion and the Battering Ram. If we move the Battering Ram, you can see there's actually little guys in there that push it. And uh, the Scorpion as well also has um, a, a little man who pushes it there. 
Oh, that poor monk just got massacred there. Um, <laughs> that's fantastic. They look so funny. It's really cool. I think it would be really nice if someone made a mod that would add these units into the game. Um, just for the standard game. That would be really fun. So we're in the Imperial Age. Can we at least now build a castle? No, we cannot, apparently. Okay, so I thought we would be able to... Oh, no, we can. Apparently, we need wood for it, though. Apparently, we need... 400 wood, 400 stone, and 400 gold. That recipe has certainly changed a little bit since I last remember. Uh, we better cut some wood very quickly then, because uh, I forgot these guys weren't actually collecting, because I've not really been paying attention to what my villagers are doing. And uh, it seems we're actually under attack. Uh, <laughs> oh, we can hear the wallalo. You can actually hear the wallalo. Oh my god. Okay, I think I might be defeated though if I'm not careful. This guy's actually attacking me. I wasn't expecting the AI to actually attack at this stage. Uh, go and get inside the TC, guys. There we go. You just you just stand there and try and uh, try and kill these guys off. Oh, the cavalry archer did the, a good job. I don't know if you heard that. You just heard the glimpse of a wallalo there. They still have the Age of Empires 1 wallalo sound. Let's see if we can convert this villager. Oh, this archer here. This archer, that would be even better. <laughs> yes! That is so good. It actually works. Okay, so we should be able to build a castle now anyway. And there it is. There's the Byzantine castle in all its glory. Um, let's probably... We should probably try and wallalo a few more of these units here. Otherwise, we may actually just die as we are under attack and I was not expecting that to happen, although probably rather naively of me uh, not expecting that to happen. Oh no! <laughs> Their monk just got a conversion, you're kidding me. They actually use the monks quite a lot it seems. That is fantastic. Can we get this castle up though? Yes we can, there's the castle. and. Uh, what can we make? Apparently we can make a cataphract, which is a, a black square according to this. Um, hopefully the cataphract will have a graphic and it will look awesome. Because the cataphract, as you may or may not know, is my favourite unit in the game. So let's get our monk to do some more conversions. <laughs> oh, they should have totally kept the normal monk sounds in this game. It would have been fantastic. Uh, but anyway, here's our cataphract. It certainly doesn't look as awesome as it did, as it does now. Um, but it is just one-shotting, one-shot killing everything, which is, which is fantastic. So there you go, guys. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching. Uh, this has been a quick look at Age of Empires 2, the Age of Kings alpha version. Um, I don't know about you, but I'm pretty glad that they updated a few things. Uh, I'd love to hear what you, you think about this, though, and uh, whether you expected it to be like this. I don't know. Uh, but uh, thanks for watching anyway. As usual, I've been Zek, and I will see you next time.